Welcome back friends. Uh, we are learning identity and security on Amazon Cloud. Uh, and now we are going to learn about the Certificate Manager, which is a service on Amazon Cloud or AWS uh, in this lecture. So let's start. Certificate Manager is among the different uh, services available as an identity and security tools for authorizations, authentication, and securing your cloud instances or projects out there on the cloud. So with Certificate Manager, which is a service uh, that lets you easily provision, uh, manage, and deploy public or private uh, SSL certificates or TLS certificates uh, with a secure socket layer or transport layer security certificate for use on uh, AWS services with your internal uh, connected resources with web or uh, mobile applications. And the SSL certificates are used to secure our network communication and establish identity of websites over the internet, as well as a resource on private networks. With Certificate Manager, you can uh, remove the time consuming manual process of purchasing, uploading, and renewing SSL TLS certificates. Uh, so all these things will be automated and you have to define the domains or different things like that. It could be integrated uh, with the request uh, of a certificate, deploy with ACM integrated uh, AWS resources such as load balancers, uh, CloudFront distributions, the APIs on API gateway. Uh, with Certificate Manager, you can handle uh, certificate renewals and enable you to create a private certificates for your internal resource management and different uh, life cycles centrally. Uh, you have these things. And you have to pay for monthly operations uh, for private CA and for the private certificates you issue. And for other public resources, you have to only pay for the resource cost, not for the public CA's certificates. There are uh, some benefits for using the certificate manager. Uh, you have a free public certificate for ACM integrated services. Uh, if you integrate uh, different services on the public domain, you have the free access for TLS or SSL certificates. Uh, and you have to only pay for the uh, underlying resources being made for implemented by load balancing or API gateway or things like uh, Elastic Beanstalk or Lambda. Then you have the managed certificate renewal option, uh, which will be managed by Amazon Cloud. Uh, using the ACM for the renewal process, uh, the automatically don't need to go on the manual basis, uh, be it uh, on-premise resources or on the cloud. You get a certificate easily uh, by errand-prone steps or to get a website or applications. There is no need to generate a key pair or certificate signing request, a CSR or submit to certificate authority or upload the uh, install uh, certificate once received. Uh, there are a few clicks uh, available on AWS console where you can request a trusted SSL certificate so it will be easy for you to manage these things. It will, will be all out of uh, cost saving and time saving. Uh, there are various use cases uh, with certificate manager. Uh, you can protect and secure a website. Uh, if you have a website or web applications out there Automobile applications, uh, you uh, you would have a, an access to secure this thing by adding different encryptions for sensitive data, so that uh, no phishing or uh, similar hacking technology could be implemented uh, against your website, uh, so that your website would be capable in serving your customers uh, in a more secured fashion. So it will allow the identities of website over the internet to encrypt uh, the communication in between and uh, encrypt uh, all the sensitive data in transit for authentication. Uh, you may be a banking solution or a big uh, private firm or anything, any organization who want, uh, who is very concerned about their security or their web applications. You uh, need SSL for that thing. You have to protect uh, and secure your internal resources then you can also use a certificate manager for private certifications within your organization on the cloud or on the premise. You could use uh, these things even in the VPC uh, virtual private cloud. 
the private certificates could be used for identifying and securing communication between different connected devices, be it in a, a VPC virtual private network or servers, or IoT devices uh, with IP camera and different tools like that, Raspberry Pi and things like that. Uh, you could generate different private ACMs, uh, AWS certificate managers, and uh, enter a, a pro private certificate programmatically using the APIs or things like that. You can help uh, meet compliance requirement with uh, SSL and TLS of, to meet a regulatory and compliance requirement for encryption of data in transit uh, to keep it more secure. And you have the improved uptime so that uh, the website may load faster than the earlier one and you don't need to worry about the expiring certificate. So this is a dashboard for AWS Certificate Manager uh, where you can easily provision and manage and deploy and renew the TLS certificates anytime you want. You can simply uh, request a certificate and create a custom or uh, default uh, certificates providing a different uh, ACM request. You have to choose a certificate for the ACM, upload a certificate to IAM, you have the option to choose a certificate from IAM and uh, more options. You have to configure security settings. Uh, you have to configure load balancers. You have to configure security groups. You have to configure routing. You have to configure register targets with security uh, certificate manager. Then you can generate a certificate based on your account. Uh, with uh, TLS or SSL, you, uh, this is a difference between a normal website and a secure website with SSL. A normal website uh, may start with a HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and a secure website with SSL and TLS will have a domain like a HTTPS the secured with a locker symbol. So it will be secured and verified, it will be registered. So your website may look like this. If you have a TLS or SSL certificate, Add it to your domain. Then you can add a private uh, certificate authority. Uh, this will be a flow. Uh, you could have the EC2 instances or other resources like devices, on premise servers, or things like that. All these could be managed with a private certificate manager on Amazon Cloud. You could select uh, different certificates, choose from the existing certificate, choose uh, an existing certificate for identity and access management. Upload a new SSL certificate or uh, have move forward. You can generate uh, multiple certificates based on different uh, projects or application. Uh, here is the workflow. Uh, you have you are a developer or in a team of developers. You could create a different instances or other resources like S3, EC2, Lambda, Mobile Hub, or things like that. Then you could generate a certificate manager request, uh, generate as ACM certificate, Amazon certificate manager. Uh, you can integrate these things with the cloud front, uh, the resources with ACM, and implement on different locations or regions throughout the globe. It could be integrated on on-premise, the VPC, and uh, Amazon cloud as well in any region. You could add a load balancer with a VPC or in the normal cloud. You have custom resources and things like that. So this was about the certificate manager. We're going to learn more about uh, identity and security on cloud. Uh, till then, keep learning and keep moving ahead.